Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Well, it's my Victoria 2. As a two killer empire, let's continue on for the last of off. So, we have done it. We have become a westernized nation. I've slowly started building up our industry. It's going to take a handful of years for that to actually, uh, you know, materialize. But for now, uh, Albania's default on our debt. I do not care. Apparently, we're, we're actually loaning people money. Apparently, I've given Albania, Paraguay, and Spain money. I did not know that. So we have about $138,000, which should mean uh, I would like to crank up uh, my education spending to the maximum. Because the literacy rate is still at 5.1%. That's pretty bad. Uh, we're getting idealism. We're trying to make sure we can, um, you know, research things faster. Which I think getting all these done ASAP is basically the best thing that we can possibly do. It's probably going to take us a while to actually get all of the text. But hopefully, you know, we can get there. Remember, civilized nations, that's already a plus one um, to research. The literacy rate is going to be plus 0. 0.2, which is not great. Um, how much is... What's the maximum literacy gives you? 5% is 0. 0.2. 25 is 1, so I guess it's up to 4 if you have 100% literacy rate. Plurality is at plus 32%. As long as law of mine is 50%, and from improvement technology, plus 50. I think we've actually lost some modifiers. Um, unfortunately, but you know, 5.61 is better than we had ever during our, um, pre-westernization process, so, I'm not going to complain too much, I mean, comparing to, I mean, this only costs 4,000 points, you know, even these, even these, like, high-low ones are 20,000, that is how much, um, you know, some of our, um, reforms were, some of our reforms were over 20,000 points. So, in comparison, these are actually going to be extremely, extremely fast. Of course, we do want to be on speed 5, at least for right now. Most of our factories are about halfway done. We do have one of them operational. Of course, we are going to want to subsidize every factory. They only have 22 employees. So, we don't want to be building too, many, like, too much industry right now. Because we still need to get people to um, actually work. So, it, would it be worthwhile to get off intellectuals and then just trying to... Who are you at war with? You're at war with China. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming it's the Boxer Rebellion? Probably. So, do we just not... Do we just want to, like, promote craftsmen? We might. I mean, 65... I'm sure this will start ticking up eventually on its own. 74, 76. Yeah, it just takes a while, you know, to get those gears turning. Right now, we have 0.2 industry. It's not a ton, I will admit. But, you know, we will get there. Things shall improve eventually. Eventually, things will be okay. Uh, we're going to get uh, completely engulfed by the French. So, if there's ever, you know, a world war situation definitely want to be opposed to whoever is against the like the french we want to fight back against we have 7.35 so you know britain and france go to war in let's say world war one we definitely want to support the british against the french so i can hopefully take over all of this territory you know fingers crossed on that one that i can at least grab some of these provinces away from them i mean i could probably do that just through um you know places in the sun 5.5 infamy. But it's still expensive, and I don't think the British would actually support me. Of course, I need to actually re up my alliance with them. Thank you. Uh, is anybody else even around that would want to be my friend? No, negative 1,000 for negative relations. Most people don't like me because of the whole uh, we're an African nation. Uh, apparently, there's actually a crisis happening in Russia. That's okay. You know what, Germany? I think Germany can probably, like, fight whoever. Oh, who do you want to actually support? Italy will support Germany. UK will support Germany. Basically, it looks like everybody's going to support Germany except for France and uh, Austria. Germans don't know. Okay, you don't know who you want to support. Austria's going to back you. Now UK wants to back the Russians, so I think Russia might win. 
But we shall see. Germany might be enough to... I mean, they're having some... Rebel problems, to say the least. I mean, they're still absolute monarchy in 1891, which is a bit surprising. Normally, rebellions uh, will have eaten them up a long time ago. So when will this technology be done? Will it be done in 1892? 1894. I mean, that is a while, but again, we want to get through all of these first. It's just by far the best option you can do. Educate people and increase all of your research points. So maybe you could also start going down like the education efficiency. But is that like all of this, then all of the education efficiency text, and then start going into anything else? Because it's going to take us a long, long time before we can even think about fighting against any European power. Except for maybe like Liberia. But I'm assuming even Liberia is probably. No, they're at five as well, so they're about equal to us. Uh, we do have, like, a lot of, um, accepted populations. Tareg, Gur, Zenful, Songhai. We can have both small arms factories. Lovely. So, which one of you? Okay. Like, we could... All of this blue territory is actually accepted population. Um... Are you... No, so this orange is not, unfortunately. You are accepted... What are you? I think you would be accepted. And yes, we want to be kind of just like coring all of our territory. I mean, most of it is accepted population, so... It shouldn't be like that difficult. Oh, and of course we can actually uh, mobilize. Now that we are a westernized nation, we can actually mobilize our armies, which would be lovely. When is that going to be useful for us? Um, not for a while, I believe. And there's not even a reason I think to build any more factories right now until... Uh, like, this one factory literally has zero people in it. Like, we want to just overall be trying to influence... Um... People who become craftsmen. But I also would like my education uh, to go up. So, you know, we're in a bit of a crossroads right now about what our... Um, overall objective is. Also, France, you're scaring me? Please go away. We can have both paper mills. Are our railroads done? No, they're still being built. They need steel, cement, and lumber. I mean, I guess I can just buy that off the world market. I mean, we have about 300,000 pounds, which is pretty good. So they want uh, some steel, buy 120 units of you. They want it cement. I mean, we need these anyways to build factories in the future, so... I'm kind of okay with that. And what else do you need? Uh, one of like, what else do you need? You needed lumber as well. Okay, I mean that that's fine. So your wood lumber is the planks. Buy up a decent amount of that as well. There we go. I know we're also gonna need machine parts in the future. Apparently their prices have dipped a lot, so let's just buy up a lot of those while we can. And also be buying up uh, military reserves. Just so, you know, when we need to start m uh, militarizing up, we'll have a lot of uh, these things ready to go. We'll even start building up. I was going to say build, buy some airplanes. Let's buy like 11 aircraft. I'm sure the aircraft are probably expensive and we're not going to be able to use them for a while. But, you know, just having them in reserve, I don't think is a bad idea. Got one because we got two prestige. I mean, that's not a lot, but it's not nothing. So, what can we be doing right now? Uh, do you have artillery in you? No, you do not, so that's fine. Like, we could be. I mean, there's not really anybody who's left uncivilized, right? Like, I don't, I don't believe so. I mean, I guess there's you down here. Persia, people in the Near East, but you're already under control of the British. And, you know, trying to, um... Like, if I wanted to annex you... Is there any territory over here I would even want? Like, it'd be, like, very strange for us to start trying to form a, uh... 
colonial empire, but I'm pretty sure the British would back us anyways. Like, imagine doing something weird, like trying to take over uh, Cuba or something like that. No, we're in the sphere of the Germans, uh, so we're not going to attack Spain. Probably would be a bad idea. I mean, like, I would like this I'd like all of this territory at some point. Like, if I could, you know, you know unite all of Africa, that would be the uh, best case scenario. But I'm not too sure what the likeliness of that is. Also, I'm going to increase military spending by a ton, just so uh, people actually want to become soldiers. I do need uh, soldiers in the armies. We can build some ammunition factories. I mean, that's nice. In our biggest states, I think it's time to start making craftsmen and starting the industrialization process. Like, how many people are in this? F like, in you. It's not Timbuktu, it's not the Ivory Coast. It is Eastern Mali. 500 workers. I mean, again, it's not a lot. You know, these are making at least a little bit of money. I mean, there's literally nobody employed in them. There's kind of... There's empty factories right now, but... I'm sure... That eventually things will be going okay. And hopefully, yeah, people are already starting to join the military now that I'm actually uh, paying them money. Unsurprisingly, they're more likely to jo join the military when you actually pay them. So railroads here are almost ready. We can combine these armies up. So what? Our loss is negative 1800. That's fine. That was probably only because of... Um, apparently Shanti wants their independence. I would say no. Please do not do that. But apparently, uh... Some tensions over Port Arthur as well. Are you owned by Italy? You are. I don't know why Italy owns those islands, actually. They're actually at war with the, uh, the Ottomans. Why are you at war with the Ottoman Empire? Are you probably taking over Libya? Yeah, the Libyan War. Libya acquires all states and core territories. Apparently Japan's actually back in the Ottomans. Is that because they're in the uh, sphere? Yes, they are. Again, Japan doing their one thing where they just make the weirdest spherings ever. Like, Ottomans... I mean, I guess it's an okay sphere, but... You know, they just always do, like, weird things. Also, Bolivia looks like an actual dumpster fire. Poor, poor Bolivia. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure as soon as Italy takes all of Libya, this will all immediately go to France, I believe. Don't, uh, don't quote me on that. Okay, so we have three in the street. We're in 19th place. We're slowly militarizing up as well. We got an extra 50% research points. Immediately go up to 100%. You'll be ready in 97. You know, I'm fine going towards a democracy. Also, what's migration looking like? Nobody's actually leaving our empire. They all think we are fantastic. And I absolutely agree with their assessment that I am by far the greatest country in the world. Please do not leave. How many men do I have? I have 20 divisions. It's not a ton. I mean, it's not zero. We can mobilize up to 23, which is pretty okay. An extra prestige, I'm pretty sure, is not actually going to benefit me at all. But that's okay. So it's Brazil, Spain's in 16th. So we need about 60 points right now to actually... Um, Become a secondary power. What does being a secondary power actually do for us? Not that much. I think we'll get more prestige. Um, I don't think we get more research points or anything like that, though. At least I don't believe so. You know, I'm pretty sure you don't. But I might be wrong on that. So combine these guys up. I mean, these guys are not balanced in the slightest. Maybe we would want to um, reorganize these guys, but I don't think it's really the, that big of a deal. I prefer to, you know, avoid armed conflict if at all possible, especially against like Germany or the French or the British. The only person who I would want to maybe take over would be Liberia, but they are also a civilized nation and also a little bit uh, scary. What's revolt risk going to look like? Uh, revolt risk is kind of not great in all of our non-core territories. But well, I now have railroads, so I'm not too sure what they're upset about. Just reactionaries. They're just very upset 
that I've tried to westernize our nation. I don't know. I don't know why you got to be so mad about it. If I do this, that's going to cost us too much money. So crank that down slightly. We're basically not spending anything on social because we have no un unemployment and no pensions. So, but I mean, there's nobody who's in our country who's actually unemployed anyway. So it's not that big of a deal. Also, I'm surprised that no reforms want to get passed. There's a minimum wage movement in public meetings and uh, the abolition of serfdom. Where's serfdom in here? Oh, the debt law. Okay. I mean, I'd be fine getting them to be there for to be less serfs. So that means they'll actually go work in the factories. Go to peonage, debtor prisons, bankruptcy. And I'd be fine also going towards a little bit of a voting system. Like a 37% plurality, no revanchism, because we do have all of our core territories right now, which is excellent. What's happening in the news right now? War between the Germans and the Qing. Boxers attack people. But nothing else too crazy that I can see. Yeah, Spain is scared of France. Okay, so they're kingdom of Spain. Weren't they just a republic? Or did they just have a revolution, I guess? Again. Well, they're an absolute monarchy, so I believe they did just went through a, like, a Carlist revolution. Or a coup. I guess that also would uh, work out as well. This is just the, the worst thing I've ever seen. Look at, look at this nonsense. Okay. Uh, prov ID. Change owner. Bra. 1366. I just, I just couldn't look at that anymore. It was, it was bad. It was not great to look at. You're worth the, uh... no, you're worth the, oh no, these are the Japanese troops laying in. Okay. That makes perfect sense. The Japanese have landed their way into Abyssinia. I mean, will you be able to, no, you're at 48%. You know, the United States is now at war with you. Britain is at war with El Salvador, Nicaragua. And Japan should be able to definitely beat the, um, the Chinese. Who the hell are you? You're a satellite of the Empire of Japan, but I have no idea where you're from. The United States is at war with the Germans. And Russia is at war with Austro-Hungary. What are the cons- is it this guy right here? Yeah, this tiny little city, okay. Yeah, but the Qing are definitely going to lose against the Japanese. There's no question about that whatsoever. The British have kind of secured their holding over here in Arabia. So what's Russia fighting over again? They want Bulgaria to take some territory. Yeah, they're trying to take over like this one little spot. And that might also lead to uh, Russia taking a big chunk of territory as well. well. We shall see. Yeah, so Italian Libya is up here. They definitely did lose. And we have 8 industry. We're in 18th place. We're slowly catching up. 149 points. Yeah, Russia is also going to take some territory. Not a huge surprise there. So, I mean, who's going to win like, a war against the Germans? Do you think the United States actually has a chance? I don't really know. How many men do you have? You have 302 divisions. That is a, a lot. It's a lot of men. I mean, eight industry is pretty okay. Mostly, it's mostly in Kano and Eastern Mali. Not a huge surprise. I mean, those are like our most populated states. Apparently, 0.53 is actually too much in Kano right now. Really? How is that even possible? Where's Kano? Oh, it's actually maxed out already. Okay, so the encouraging craftsmen... At Definitely is the way to go. Or what I should actually do. Um, is in Kano and in our, you know, our two big provinces. Again, let me just double check. Yeah, those are the two biggest. Is just, like, industrialize the hell. Like, especially Kano has one, like, two million people are in Kano right now. None of this is core territory and they're all very mad at me, but I think that's okay. But I think this also is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.